So yes, you wanna you wanna stay on the nipple. You know, it's like when you are the offspring of Mother Nature, you need to stay on her nipple, which is the truth. Okay? You need to seek that nipple and stay on that nipple, stay on that line, stay on that point. Okay? You need to take in the truth. You need to process the truth. It's a feed, it's a frequency like food. You know, I'm using symbolism when I say a nipple because a baby is on the mother's nipple and the baby has to be on the nipple to live and survive. Okay? It has to process the feed from the nipple, food. You know, Mother Nature is the frequency. It's the power. Okay? It's the energy. It's the essence. It's the truth. It's the life. It's the way in nature. Okay? You need to stay on this. You need to stay as a child on the nipple. Instead of trying to think you grown and you know something, that's what you call a teenager. Okay, a teenager is a, is a, is a mind state that thinks that it's, it knows more than the predecessor or the one that made or created it. Okay, so again, that's symbolism as well. It's a mind state. It's like you don't want a man or woman to be called a teenager. You want to be called a young man or a young woman, a young lady. Okay, a young gentleman. You don't want to be called a teenager. That's a boy or a girl. A teeny bopper. Okay? A boy or a girl. One day you could be a boy. One day you could be a girl. Just put a hat on and you can't even tell what it is. Like, you don't want that. Okay? We're talking about the process of becoming a supreme being. Okay? Having eternal life. It's like you can't even have physical life if you're not on the nipple. How you think you're going to have eternal life if you ain't on that nipple? You need to stay with the truth. Okay, you need to always be seeking. This is how you learn. Okay, when you, I mean, lean not on your own understanding. What does that mean? What understand? If you can't lean on your own understanding, what understanding can you lean on? Some puppet script book, or in nature, where you can observe nature. Okay, then you can overstand. Okay, reality, which is in nature, the real. The real, the R-E-E-L and the R-E-A-L. It's the same thing, the real. Okay? It's all being recorded and put into the Akashic Record of Account, which is a book of life. And you are a book of life. Okay? Your life is a book. That's why people say I'm an open book. It's like your life is being recorded by the universe. You don't need to worry about what man and woman are doing, which are beast and, and, and beast boys and beast girls. Because man and woman is cooperating. They look like a man or a woman, but really they got the mind state of a teenager, of a boy or a girl. So yes, they're going to try to imitate and mock the creator and do what the creator does. They're going to try to have surveillance and have you under surveillance and be able to, to uh, record and annotate and document all of your actions and whatnot. It's like if you're not doing nothing wrong, then who cares? It's like you, you already know the universe recording this. And like I said... When we're talking about becoming a supreme being, just think of the caterpillar. That's why I say you observe nature, then you're going to have a higher comprehension, a higher spectrum, a higher definition, okay, a higher awareness, okay, a vantage point instead of a disadvantage point. You see a caterpillar, it eats the leaf. It prepares it for being in the cocoon stage, which you may call death. Or it may be considered awake. When you see that caterpillar in the cocoon, you know it's not really dead. It appears like it's dead, like you will one day when you are in a casket. If that caterpillar is not eating the leaf and cooperating with nature and it's eating the insects, what kind of wings you think is going to develop? It's probably not going to develop wings. It probably develops some deformed legs so it can walk. It won't be able to fly. Okay, you won't get any wings. So people say, get your wings back. It's like you're gonna get new wings. It's like you're gonna become a supreme being with eternal life. Okay, or you're gonna be stuck on the grid. It's like you come off the nipple of the creator. You you could go on the nipple of the beast. The beast got a nipple too. You see the Baphomet motherfucker got nipples. Like you can get on that nipple and, and, and start taking all the lies and. All of the deception and all the puppetry, okay?
okay, all in low frequency, you have no power, you'll be weak, you'll be compromised, okay, you'll be deformed, you'll be retarded, and yeah, you can have a house and a car and money and all this stuff too, but what you gonna be when you, when you pass away from this life? You gonna turn into a dead demon, okay? And then you could come and you could play the same games these dead demons playing with everybody else. So I don't got time for this, man. It was like, man and woman, we're in the process of becoming the supreme being. We don't have time for these lies and, and mind games and shit. It's like I see the whole world is under mind control. It's like if you don't start recognizing this and see this, that means you're under mind control. It's something you just don't stop talking about. Okay? You got to stay aware and abreast of what's going on. And once again, abreast, symbolic. Abreast. You need to know the truth and stay on that.